Hey there friends, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I made my own frame TV, step by step. First things first, if you're new here, I wanted to take a second and tell you about my channel. I'm Sarah Joy and I make a video every single Tuesday taking you behind the scenes on projects that I'm doing around my home or just coming on and sharing tips with you on how to bring more joy into your spaces. So if that sounds good to you, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you don't miss a video when they come out every single Tuesday. If you're anything like me, you love the Samsung Frame TV, but also if you're anything like me, it's kind of way too expensive to justify the purchase. Um, especially for me, I was using this in my home office and that is one space that absolutely did not need the investment of a Samsung Frame TV. So I had a very, very old TV screen that I was gonna use as my computer monitor and I decided to make my own kind of frame to go on that TV. So I'm gonna show you the process on how I made that and how it turned out. So to get started, let me just outline all of the materials that you'll need. So I used a very, very thin piece of wood in order to make the frame. I wanted it to be as lightweight as possible, um, but also to still be a pretty quality wood. So I actually found some lattice trim and I found it at Lowe's. I think it's a fourth inch thick and then it's about two inches wide. It was the perfect width for a frame and also very, very easy to work with. So I used that. I also used a jigsaw to make the cuts. I think you could use any other kind of saw that you have, um, but a jigsaw just going really slowly actually made some pretty easy cuts. I also used a heavy duty staple gun to just staple the frame together. This is thin enough wood that it just worked. I went to Hobby Lobby and got a piece of their matting material and that is the matted part of the frame, if you will. I think you could go to any framing store or craft store that does framing and also buy a piece of that thicker um, matting material and cut it for yourself. But you'll need that to be uh, just at least the width of the interior of the frame. I also bought some little wooden applique corner pieces to cover up where I put the staples um, on the piece. So you can get those probably at another craft store as well. I got mine at Hobby Lobby. I got two packs. They were 40% off, so I think I paid about $2.50 total for four of them. You can use either wood glue or hot glue um, to affix those onto your frame. I used hot glue just because I didn't want to wait around. This is not super necessary, but if you didn't do an amazing job with making the cuts on your frame, I would recommend it. Um, and that is some paintable caulk so that you can just run it over the seams and wait for it to dry and then just paint right over it where you can't tell uh, what kind of job that you did on the frame. Then some paint to make your trim the color that you want it to be. So maybe you want it to just be a black or a gold frame. You could just get that color paint. What I did um, was a little bit different and I did my kind of faux wood look. So I used a cream colored chalk paint and then a semi-transparent water-based stain. And I just uh, painted over it so that it had a lightened wood look. And then last but not least, some heavy duty tape or command strips to affix your frame to the TV. All right, let's get started on the process. So let's get started with this project. I have here the frame that I made out of the lattice trim. And I realize I don't have a video of me making it, but it was actually really simple. I just got a little measurement of a corner right angle and I measured it out on the piece of trim. This was like an eight foot piece. I did have a tiny TV, but the one piece of trim made the whole frame and still had enough left over. Um, you can see I stapled it on both sides and it did make the wood like split a little bit, but where I placed it was fine because once I then added on these little appliques on top of it, you can't see where the staples were at all. Here you actually see me pulling some off of another frame. Um, I actually remade the frame because I thought it was too small at first and I wanted more of the matting to show. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing this, just measure it out and give yourself like an extra inch on every side so that the piece of matting can show through on the frame. 
When you cut your piece of matting, you can see I was very detailed to make very straight lines in the middle, but the exterior part is just gonna be attached to the interior of the frame. So you can kind of be a little bit sloppier with that and you will not notice it. Um, then I just stapled a few times and then taped it to the back of the frame. You know, I had thought about making it kind of like a box to go around the entire TV, but when it came down to it, I really don't think that was necessary. Just mounting it on top of the TV, I think did the trick. Again, it's super lightweight and you can still access the buttons or plug in a USB if you need to. My last step was just covering the cord. There's a HDMI cord and a power cord, and I just covered those with this little cord keeper thing that attaches to your wall. Um, I think that's a great finishing touch. But yeah, here's how the frame turned out. It is very, very lightweight, and it just makes this look like another piece of artwork on the wall rather than a big, clunky, little vintage TV, you know? So I really am happy with how it turned out. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Uh, this is definitely a project I can see myself doing again in some other spaces with some other TVs, just because uh, it's so easy to throw up your own artwork on the screen and kind of enjoy it as a art piece and make it look more presentable when you're not really using it to watch a movie um, instead of having a clunky plastic black piece in the middle of your wall. Uh, you can have something a lot more enjoyable to look at. So I really like this hack if you will if you enjoyed this week's video make sure to leave it a like or share it with a friend and i will be back next tuesday with a brand new video bye guys what a wonderful